What's up YouTube, Action Mario here, and we're back into Unison League having their 5th Evangelion collaboration event, featuring new characters, which aren't really new because this is the 5th event. Yeah. Gear, events, and game updates. Let's go over some of the monsters now, shall we? Starting with the new login rewards bonus monster, Ray X Lemon, a free cost 39 monster stat stick. As you'd probably only use this stat stick until you're powerful enough, and then it's gone as you put it into gear locker to, to ride forever. With weak damage, removing debuffs and ailments, heals for 60 ability power and recovers 10 cost and applies self AT field. She has 5.5k stat pots for every stat. And on the fifth pot, she will increase allies with cost recovery, and you can obtain more of her from box bonds, as well as cosmetics, furniture, and back gear. Next being the ranking monster of the collaboration. And actually, it's pretty good. That that is if you get him to a few pots, after all. Ether Contamination Evangelion Unit 13 removes reflection reduction and continuous healing, and then damages to it for 340 three times at max level. And the main skills being removes enemy de enemy buffs, enemy AT fields, and enemy awakening standby modes, and 30 of their cost. Has 11k stat pots for the selected stats, and at three plus pots, these are the these are this is where it shines. At pot three, it's self dawn for 90 seconds. Pot four removes frenzy from all enemies, and pot five applies frenzy to all allies for 60 seconds. Oh boy. I hope you guys enjoying your ranking massacre. I'm not gonna do that. You guys have fun with that. As for the first wave of monsters, I will make it easier on myself and say this now. All of them will deal 240 damage 5 times, an elemental attack boost of their element and an elemental defense boost by 80 for 90 seconds, and an elemental field of their element again for 120 seconds. And their pots are as follows 10k potentials for 1 and 3, an element resistance of 40 at 4, and their elemental unity defense at by 600. Now let's start with Asuka. In addition to the abilities stated above, she will also apply Vital Strike, Auto Refresh, Encouragement, and Blessing to self. At Shinji, he'll let me just uh, say that all everything else is for the team. Blessing is the only one for itself. I should probably say that now. <laughs> Shinji applies physical and magical ability power up by 40, unit gains by 2, and cost recovery by 10 to all allies. And then grace to self. Rei will apply 40 damage to all allies as a demerit as she is a Starmon, but she gives 7 nulls. One of the newer abilities, and I gotta say it's pretty good. HP recovery up by 50, resurrection, and to, to all, and then armament to self. Mari gives 50 elevation, increases uni gauge, ugh, uni gauge by 30 for all allies, 40% barriers, and for all allies, and then applies dawn to self. Kawaru, if that's how you say his name. Increases all cost by 50, cooldowns by 50%, and AT field to all allies, and then applies Twilight to self. To be honest here, for, for the first wave of monsters, these are pretty good. If you ignore the fact that you can actually replace fields, because like they, they all kind of, they all can be a problem in the end. But of course, to obtain them is a bit pricey for, for their worth as their only way is by treasure spawns and the basic collab type spawn that we always see every every kind, every time a collab appears. The other spawns are returning gear, so I would not touch those. The weapons, armors, and helmets introduced after the collab, introduced during this collab, after the collab ends, will turn into Tyrant XL skills and physical or magical damage down XXLs. The relic will become a Recovery Blessing XL. Now the daily login bonus features chant features chance of ticket chance tickets, you know the the ones that you know ugh, 
A lot of people are gonna rage if they don't get anything from these chance tickets. For collaboration gears, gems, keys, and ray. The introduced uh, events are your basic story event line where you can get exchange medals and gems. The Evangelion collaboration quest, advancing threat with light, dark, and time bosses. Which is basically the easy quest for beginners to obtain box tickets. And then the super united offense type event for the big prestige boost in the ranking ladder, battling the ranking monster that is light. Now, with all these overpowered people around, it's gonna be pretty easy. Just saying. The SUOs are always easy, so don't worry about it. You just gotta do that and, and 10 seconds, get the amount of prestige you need pretty fast. So I've gotta say, all the people who are gemming for AP, oh boy. Uh, a lot of people are gonna get very, very high scores if they really want this monster, so you're gonna really have to fight for it. Anyways, you will get, by ranking high, you will get the collab scroll pieces to exchange for ranking mods in the past and current time. AT field animation, Nino use, ethers, and skill hammers. However, once it comes to global, I highly doubt that we will have skill hammers at that time. Maybe we'll get the update just in time for skill hammers. But if not, well, um, we probably will have skill hammers in our rankings. I don't know if we'll have Nino use in our rankings either, but hey, whatever. And farm the ladder for more Nino use, tickets, orbs, and keys, cosmetics, and gems. In JP, lastly, level cap in JP has been increased to 240 and there's a new quality of life improvement as reforging materials can now be done in bulk now global where's our 230 double cap <laughs> anyways that's the updates for jp thank you for watching remember to like and subscribe for more unison league update content and see ya Persona!